in the beginning england french dutch portuguese everybody was in competition with each other and they were looking for purchasing the indian textile because it was sold at a huge profit in their own countries the person who made actually use of this particular situation was the supply merchant the supply merchant sold the textile to the highest bidder the person who gave him the maximum profit but slowly when east india company took over the hold of india then they monopolized indian trade they had the sole right over trade in india and when they started this monopolization they had some things in mind and which was that they wanted to eliminate all the competition they never wanted any competitors they also wanted to control the cost so that they would get the goods at cheaper price and they also wanted to ensure regular supply in india excellent condition for them they are looking for everything that was best for them prices low regular supply no competitor that means they were looking for a condition where they would get the best out of whatever was available now they thought that it would not be easy for them to actually directly go and bargain and trade with the indian weavers so they employed a person of the indian soil that is an indian whom they termed as a gomashta gomashta was a person who was appointed for giving regular supplies to the british getting the uh, text tile and goods at the cheapest possible price therefore he used to go the gomasta directly to the villagers and in the beginning he tried to lure them by giving them advances so the people they actually got involved into that fascination and they started giving the product to the gomasta the gomasta squeezed their um income that they had the profit that they had and ultimately people realized that the gomasta was not their friend he was an outsider a person who was very arrogant and who used to come with a sepoy and a peon and who immediately told all the weavers to give away all that they had weaved whether they were willing or unwilling in the beginning because they thought that they would be getting advances but later on they realized that they were making no profit so they were unwilling but this did not help because he had all the power and he had had all the authority to control them when the weavers tried to oppose revolt they were beaten and ultimately we see that there was resentment among the weavers and we hear of stories when the weavers ran away from the villages especially in karnataka and bengal because they refused to give their product to the gomasta so the east india company tried to exploit the weavers as far as possible by not coming directly into the picture but by employing an indian who exploited his own countrymen and he was the gomasta an agent and middleman of the east india company i continue with it in the next clipping